I do want to share what the Wow Warrior Award is. The Wow Warrior Award came to be about three years ago, and it was developed to run alongside with Women's History Month. You know, my thought was that while we we tend to highlight all the trailblazers that have gone before us, but a lot of times they are deceased. It's very hard for a woman who is trying to stand up and stand out and feel powerful and, and follow a great example when they're no longer here. And so my thought was, why aren't we honoring women who are crushing it right now, who are really doing the thing to get the thing and who are standing up and standing out as that unrepeatable miracle? Uh, they know themselves, they know their worth, they're not requiring external validation for their self-worth, they know they have value in this world. And so that is actually what was sort of the, the thing that started the WOW Warrior platform to explain WOW, the word WOW actually has two meanings in my world. It originally starts within the Stop Self-Bullying movement that I have been leading, which is war on words warrior, because we are always in the fight with these words that circulate in our head, many times leading into the negative. And so we want to always focus on working to manage those words in our head because our words create our world. And as it evolved into the WOW Warrior platform, WOW, it stands for Woman of Worth. That Woman of Worth has actually managed to, most of the time, no one is perfect, but most of the time, manage that narrative up there. And they've also are secure in the knowledge that they are here to uplift and inspire other women to excel as much as they are excelling as themselves and being purpose-driven themselves. This woman that you guys are going to see, each one of them has been through a lot of challenges, heartaches, tests, temporary defeats, so much more. And it isn't that they haven't been through some stuff, as I like to say. It's been that they've been through this stuff and they've risen like the powerful warrior that they are. And this is where I always like to say, I learned this from a speaker right before this all came to be was... That she asked the audience, do you know the difference between a soldier and a warrior? And I was like, hmm, I never thought about it. But a soldier is taught to fight and a warrior is born to fight. And that's how I knew that that word was. And I had already had that word attached to wow, but it took on a bigger meeting because that language that we fight sometimes in our own head and sometimes that other people try to put on us externally is that wow warrior understands that they have a choice in what goes on up here, but they are always in that fight for their worth. They know their worth. They are not confused about it at all. They know their value and they navigate those self-bullying tendencies like a champion. The other thing that you will find about a wild warrior is that she has surrounded herself with others who will call them on it when she slips, <laughs> as we will because we are not perfect, but they have curated a network of powerful women who will say, what did you say about yourself? They will call you to the carpet for it. And they surround themselves with the strong women like you're going to see today. This is one of the reasons why I said, please connect with these women. They are far into that journey and they are able to have that hand to say, hey, wait, you know what, let's talk about this. You know, you need to know you control that narrative up here, but they'll call you on it. They'll be your best cheerleaders. Everyone in here is a cheerleader for one another. I've been watching it throughout the entire year. And as you listen to these 2024 honorees today, you're going to see a very common thread with these women. They're going to have all of these characteristics that I just talked about and always there to uplift and inspire. And they know that that's part of why they're here, that that's part of their gift as a wow warrior. So without further ado, we are going to see a short video of all of the honorees. And as I said, not all of them were able to be here today. After that, we're going to um, bring our uh, speakers up to the stage. So
next up on the docket is Hale Hussein. And I don't know if I said your last name right. I'm sorry. I can't remember if it's S-H or S-I. We'll just call you Holly because I always think, yes, yeah, she always explains it as it's like hallelujah. And that's what I think of when I think of Holly. Uh, she is a two-time best-selling author. She is the health span guide and mentor. She is truly everything light. And you can see it just right on her face right there. And she is going to bring you some light and energy. I can already tell Holly, take it away. Thank you so much for allowing me in this time and space. It's an honor to be among all the wild light, light beings. I honestly do not know where to start. I'm always mentoring, coaching. What am I going to say? Who am I going to be? So here I go today. I have this talk and here I'm reaching out. What am I going to say? Which part of my story I'm going to share with you guys? So I just tapped inside my heart and I said, you know what? I don't need a script. I don't need to look at anything to read. I'm just gonna be me and just be pure me and share my story for the little time I have with you. And I'm passionate about being here right now. So I'm gonna speak starting the minute, the moment I came to America. I was in third grade and my father decided to ship us to America because my mom wanted to be among her friends in Beverly Hills. So the revolution happened. We lost everything. My dad worked with the Shah of Tehran back then. So they tore down our place and everything was gone. So when we came here, living in this Beverly Hills, being this doll, this image, I had to fit in. It wasn't my life, it wasn't me. I lived it joyously and happily, became this Barbie princess doll, but that was not me. I was more of a nature person, simple. So all along, although I was athletic fit, I hated who I was. I never loved me for who I was. And my dad, because he was so busy, was never there. I needed to financially survive. I worked in high, high demand corporation as a paralegal, legal secretary, executive assistant. It was not my passion, yet I was positive. I was happy. I was helping a lot of people, influencing. That's who I am. I grew up in a very loving family, very giving, unconditional givers. Fast forward, in my 20s, I ended up with bad relationships back to back. Yes, they could have been models and all of that, but they weren't the right men for me. I ended up in a physical abuse marriage in my 20s. And make it short, blessed to be out of that physical abuse marriage. I don't know how I'm standing here. I created my king, my rock, my soulmate, my everything in 2008 and became to love myself for who I am because he loved me for who I am. In 2010, we got married, happily married, and I have everything I need because I have his love. In 2011, I was working at the cancer center for 14 years. One morning I got up to go to work. I collapsed on the floor. I couldn't get up, I was trembling. I was forcing myself to get up, but I could not get up. Yes, positive me, trembling and shaking, holding on to my husband tight as he carried me to the restroom. I had no idea what's going on. I'm living a holistic lifestyle. Everything is positive. Everything is good. What has happened to me? I felt paralyzed. So I know I'm limited on my time here. So I'll fast forward. I was given many labels of autoimmune, Hashimoto, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, asthma, you name it, I was labeled. I was not going to own those labels because since age seven, I had the knowing, the vision, you can live up to 200 plus years in optimal health. That is where I lived, my universe. And that's why I even wrote a book called You Are the Universe. You are the master creator. The moment you open your eyes, you are gods and goddesses. So I remember that. And I got out of it three 
and through my body, I went through a lot. You name it, I've tried and mentored with the top coaches, even Louise Hay, Dr. Wayne Dyer, Donna Eden, <laughs> Greg Braden, and just to name a few. And today I stand medication free because I never believed in the labels. I'm 55 and I want to be that inspiration, that accountability partner, that guide to be consent. One thing you want to change, be that shift for you. Make it easy and simple for you because I've experienced it and I want to be that person for you. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for allowing me in your time and space. And I love you. You guys are incredible, powerful, and strong. Well, I'm sure no one is wondering at all why you are a wow warrior, Holly, and just your name alone, Holly Lou. Uh, yes, and thank you so much for everything that you bring to to anyone you meet. I think that's the thing, and I know some many people know you that are here. That is what they'd say. Is she always greets you with a smile, a full on beaming smile, and it's who you are, Hale. So I just want to say thank you, and thank you for sharing your story. As I said, many of us and most of us have been through some stuff, right? Like, here's the thing. That's what's made us who we are, that wow warrior, that ability to stand up and stand out, and you are no exception, Hale. So